a red dress. Um, but it's those kind of dress with all them girls wearing. You know? I want something like with a nice, uh, just like a nice finish to it, like the look that uh, silky kind of like finish, not silky, but like satin kind of finish. Get, you can get like satin. Mm -hmm. That look Yeah. So it's have that shiny glow to it, but it look classy too. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going for. So I would say something like my birthday dress, because you remember uh, it was like that silver, like kind of spandex stretchy material. Uh -huh. I'll check uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, Joanne's, right? Yeah. How many yards do you think? You're making a glove too? Yeah, yeah one yard for the back. Three yards and then one yard for the back. <laughs> first place that I decided to check was Joann's. The prices were mm, pretty good. They had a 25% off. Still a little. Mm. Um, they had a lot of varieties of fabrics to choose from. I like from. this one, but it wasn't very stretchy. I like this material. Very stretchy, but it didn't have a good shine. Hey guys, so this is day number three of or two of my, my prom dress journey. Today is April the 12th and prom is on the 27th, so I'm cutting it a little close, but <laughs> nevertheless, we're still gonna get done. Period. Get into the hair. I did my own hair. Yes, go. Check me out on Instagram. Curly hair from Eula. Today is day three. And today we're actually getting into the process of making the dress. Shaping it, forming it, all of that good stuff. And here we have my fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just want to thank R&D Sewing Shop, Miss Rodna, so much for allowing me to come make my dress here and guiding me and helping me. Helping me and guiding me along the process as that you guys are about to see. And um, yeah, this is my fabric that I'm holding in my hand, by the way. It kind of looks a little like not the right color, but it is. It's just like the lighting on the camera. This is like a nice red satin type of red. It's very stretchy, nice thick. Um, what's it called? A like spandex kind of material. Love it. In the light, it looks even better. It's shining, shiny. I got this from Hobby Lobby for the price of, this is five yards and I got it for the price of $32. And it was, that's the discounted price though because Hobby Lobby stay coming through with the sales. If you ever have to choose between, you know, fabrics between Joann's and Hobby Lobby's, I say Hobby Lobby because the prices, but Joann's has more of a variety. So you really gotta pick your battle. Anyways, y'all, I just wanted to update y'all, let y'all know before we just like hop into everything because I don't want y'all to be like confused. But Oh yeah, by the way, I designed my own dress. Here is the design that we're gonna be working with. I designed it all by me, ideas by me, everything by me. So yeah, like if anyone wants to dress design or like, you know, need help and stuff like that, I'm soon to be starting, since I'm making my own prom dress, yes, I will be learning how to make prom dresses and um, eventually, you know, or dresses in general, because I'm a fashion designer, if you don't know. Oh yeah, and some of me didn't introduce. My name is Diani. welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. And follow me on IG where I be. Cause I be trying to up with you guys and it's really lit for real. Right before the wait, wait, this is wait, this is waist. Twenty six. Twenty six weeks. And then you have to cut that in half, right? Thirty three. Thirty one and a half. Back is an important measurement to line up um, the customer or the person you're working with because some people their torso is longer than some people, so this is an important me measurement. So, you know how you wear some clothes and the shoulder is too long or like machine top? Yeah, that's what happens. So, shoulder to shoulder. The knees, the floor. You wear heels? Um, I don't think so. We're gonna always. You always make it longer, anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's then okay. when you put your shoes on, we get the length. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, right around here. Eight. Eight. Okay. What about the other one? Twelve. About right. When you're working with a non-stretch fabric, you wanna add extra. Like an inch, oh, inch for allowance. I remember that. This is a stretchy fabric, so you not add an allowance. Okay. You want to break down um, waist, bust, and hip 
you want to break them down in half and then you want to break them down quarter measurements okay because when you fold the fabric you measure in on the quarter measure. Okay. so for example the waist is 26 you divide by four Nope. 26 divided by divided by mm -hmm. 6.5. But the half half 26 So you want the half and then you want the quarter. Half. Yeah, the quarter. Now this is 31 and a half. Oh, this is 32? No, we're gonna go less because it's, it's stretchy. stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. So 30 would be 15 and then half of that would be seven and a half. Cutting out time. Imagine the dress being folded in half. This is how it looks. Can I see those cards? Here we go. Okay, yeah. This is the back, right? Because mm -hmm. the front is everything is attached. But, yeah. Okay, then. Now we can finish.
was like that yeah, thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. good. It's a good wig and it's soft too. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just set it in the neck and just put it. done the hair is slayed i'm kind of not really but kind of rushing because i pushed my makeup appointment back a couple times because of inconveniences but we're good we're living Hey, y'all. <laughs> 